Hey, what's going on guys? It's Panda here, and welcome to part 9 of my Citizen Satan 1 playthrough. I'm back again, and uh, yeah, I'm continuing on with Lisa's level. I'm not going to be continuing on with the story missions just yet. I will if we be having time. Uh, but like always, I do want to do the story, um, not story missions, the bonus mission, as well as the street races. So I've got Principal Skinner over here, and uh, yeah, we're going to be helping him out. But first, I do want to show that I have changed my outfit yet again. Uh, I am now Lisa Hockey, I think it's called. Um, it cost me 300 coins, took me a while to get that now because we are kind of running um, out of coins on our Let's Play, but yeah, I, I did get, I, I did make sure I've changed my outfit for this video, but anyway, let's see what Skinner wants. Principal Skinner, Bart's missing! Bart's gone? What a tragedy. Uh, to get your mind off this terrible loss, which we all feel, why don't you run a few uh, errands, or as I call them, grief helpers for me? But Bart's only missing! Well, looking for that little monster, I mean, treasure, uh, can't help anything. You might as well pick up Mother's Dry Cleaning for me. Right, so Principal, help Principal Skinner complete his uh, reds before time runs out. Yeah, I'm really bad at pronunciations. I don't know what I mean. Like, I know what it means, I just don't know how to pronounce it. I, I just don't know how to pronounce certain things. Um, I don't know why, just doing these Let's Plays, I mentioned it before, like, millions of times, uh, but for some reason, when I do these Let's Plays and I have to read something out, for some reason, I'm, like, way more bad at pronouncing things than usual, it's a bit odd. Uh, but anyway, so, um, what are we helping him with? So, we're gonna have to go to the Laundrette, I think it's called, what's it called? The Right Fluff Laund Laundro Mat, apparently. Alright, uh, I'm not quite sure what it is, but luckily we do have arrows pointing our way, hopefully it's somewhere close, because we only have, like, 20 seconds left on our, um, on our timer, so hopefully, there we go, it's right, right, it's right over here. Uh, so get Principal Skinner's laundry, and oh god, we just glitched through those fa that fence over there. Um, so what's next? Krusty Burger, um, the Krusty Burger this way. There's like two Krusty Burgers, I believe, on like every, um, on every map. Um, with the exception of the last level, or do they have a Krusty? I don't know, I think, no, I think the last, no, the last level does have two Krusty Burgers. Like, I just couldn't remember, um, because I know the last level has like a part of the map cut off, but I'm trying to like remember, um, where that was. But yeah, I, d I definitely do think every... Um, every level does have two Krusty Burgers, so 14 seconds um, to get to the Krusty Burger over on this side. Um, hopefully we can get there in like the 8 seconds, I don't know how, I'm just like tight, okay there we go. Uh, talk to this uh, squeaky voice team, which just come over here, and actually very quickly, I do want to grab some more coins. Well, 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 considering this is here, we might as well grab it, because we do, we are probably going to need a whole lot of coins later on, especially how things are getting, getting a little bit more expensive. I need Principal Skinner's dinner. Here, do you want to try a new crusty rib witch? Ugh, I'm a vegetarian. Oh, there's no meat in it. Just paste and MSG. And uh, collect the crusty bug. Okay, there we go. Just grabbed it. Um, 40 seconds to get to the Mr. Burns Casino, which is um, I literally just should we should get there in 40 seconds. But like, I'm really bad at driving for some reason. Like, no matter what game I'm playing, except if it's a first-person shooter game. It, if it's like a game. Well, like, I, I think I mentioned this also before. I don't know, I keep mentioning stuff that I mentioned before. I, c I can't remember what I mentioned in my series before. Um, but I have met, but like, um, any games that like, driving isn't a big part of, I'm for some reason good at driving. So for, the, for, some, for some reason, like, for, if I'm playing like a first person shooter game and it has cars, I'm good at driving for some reason. But if I'm playing a game that's all a, like, where a car is a big part of it, I'm for some reason like, really bad at it. I, I, it's a bit odd, but um, anyway, let's go speak to Dr. Nick. Uh, Dr. Nick, I'm here to pick up Principal Skinner's personal items. Hi, little girl. Hi, you're so cute. Here's the principal's antifungal cream. Ew. And let's go grab, um, I, 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 what was that? I, just, I, I don't know, I grabbed something. I, I, I grabbed some, like, I don't have sound on either, so, like, I can't really see, like, what that, like, what exactly, um, they've been saying. Like, um... I know that sounds really bad that I don't have sound, I'm probably going to sort it out some point soon, but obviously, like, I, I, I can only hear, the, like, I, the only way I can really hear sound, like, basically I just can't hear sound, is, is what I'm getting at. Like, I can record sound, that's how you guys are hearing it, probably. Um, yeah, you guys are definitely hearing sound, hopefully. Um, but yeah, so I, me playing this, I cannot hear sound, so it's a bit um, bad. Also, 8 seconds to get to the Noiseland Arcade, I think it's, li no, okay, we're not going to get there for 3 seconds. Nope, nope, okay. Uh, no, it's literally right over there. Alright, let's try that again. Retry mission. Oh no, that was so annoying because it was like literally right over here. Also, why is the noise land arcade like? It's, it's a bit of a bland, blunt. Uh, is blunt the right word? It's, it's a bit of a blunt build, to be honest. Like all the other builds, like in in Springfield, are kind of iconic. Cause you've got things like, um, you've got things like the um the cru the Quickie Mart, the Krusty Burger. You got like the Bowlerama. Like they're all kind of iconic. 
Uh, but for some reason, the Noise la Land Arcade isn't really iconic, and I don't know if that's because they don't really, they didn't originally plan to use it in that many videos, like uh, in that many episodes. It was like, because I believe its first appearance was in like an, a season two or season one or something, and like I don't know, I, I, and I don't know if they just plan to not really use it as much. Maybe I don't know. Uh, anyway, drive to Krusty Burger by the Android Dungeon. Oh, it does tell you which one to go to as well, just in case. Just in case you do get confused, but I, 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 I like, I, I can really, you can probably really tell like what Krusty Burger is like. The one more local to where you are now, which would make sense. Although there's a Krusty Burger down there, isn't there? I don't know. It, it, it's the one that I think it's, it's supposed to be the one that's local, but I'm not quite sure if they always. It's the, basically the one that makes sense. I think is what they're trying to do. But here we've got the uh, Squeaky Voice Teen over there. I would try to smash that Buzz Cola thing um, over there, but I don't know if that would completely smash it this time. And we don't need to talk to him because we already we already spoke to him um, some point in here. So let's go drive all the way back to Mr. Burns' casino, and uh, yeah, we're gonna go to quickly uh, do that. So um, what was I gonna mention? So there was something I was gonna mention, but I can't actually um, remember. I was, I was talking about the okay, I, I don't know because I was speaking about the Noiseland arcade. Uh, yeah, I can't remember what I was going to mention now. <laughs> I, that, that sucks, I can't remember. Um, but what I might do is I might very quickly just quickly speed up. I know it's literally like right over... Oh no, okay, that's not, maybe... Let's, okay, we, we won't speed up because it's literally right over here. Um, so here we go, we've got Dr. Nick. Um, we can just quickly uh, speak to him. And hopefully, this time I might as well read like what, what exactly um, he's actually grabbing us. Uh, so what is this? And oh, okay. I, I, I think it said anti-fungal cream. I can't remember. Like, I, I, that's what I think it says. But obviously, it was like really fast. So drive to Noiseland's arcade. It's a, it's a bit unrealistic. Um, because first of all, um, we we're asking Principal Skinner. Like, I can remember like, like we we're asking Principal Skinner where Bart is. Um, but for some reason, he he make. Oh god, that was that was weird. Um, but for some reason, instead of helping us, he makes like we're supposed to be helping him. For, like do doing all these like things for him but to be fair he's the one driving like we're, we're the ones okay so it's five seconds i don't think we're gonna get there in time four seconds all right let's drive up the stairs two seconds oh no that's ridiculously hard i might actually have to speed it up because that is like just just until i can get to that point because i feel like we're gonna just keep on failing but um as i was saying like it's a little bit unrealistic how an eight-year-old is supposed to be helping out their principal you know th their principal but uh, but at the, at the same time, he's the one drive, so he could just do it easily, just do everything himself. I, I don't know, it's just a bit weird. Like, I, I maybe shouldn't question the game's logic. I mean, I've probably been doing that, uh, like, I've probably been doing that too much in this series. Like, one is enough time to question the game's logic. But anyway, um, I might very quick. Oh no, going the wrong way. I, I got, I got confused what we're supposed to go to first. Yeah, so what I might do is I might have to speed up just because you're just going to keep on seeing me fail uh, over and over again. Uh, so yeah, so quickly speed up until I've almost got to the Noiseland Arcade. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so I'm back, and we have four seconds to get to the Noiseland Arcade, and we are here. Almost there. We've got Mother's Laundry, dinner for Edna and me, and uh, some personal items. Now, if you can just help me find a place that carries Mother's favorite canned aspect. This is ridiculous. I can't keep doing errands for you. I've got to find Bart. For helping me with my ridiculous errands, I suppose I owe you something. If you need help recovering your brother's body, uh living body give me a call and a bonus mission complete so i'm very quickly okay congratulations you unlock principal skinner sedan uh go to phone booth to use it so i'm very quickly just gonna go and see how well the sedan is just because we might use it so uh where is skinner sedan so it's gonna get complicated because we have um we have most sedan as well and they're both called sedans um but skinner sedan should be better although skinner uh, I think Moe's is a little bit better handling, but um, Skinner, uh, Skinner's is a little bit better acceleration. Also, we get Skinner's mum in the back, I think. So if we just quickly click on it, do we get Skinner's mum? Oh, no, we get Principal Skinner driving, okay. I thought he was just going to get his mum in the back, because that would have just been uh, slightly weird. But um, what was I going to do? Oh, yeah, so compare his car to our default car for, for level 3. So uh, mainly, I shouldn't 
just focus on speed because there's obviously like toughness we have to worry about in some missions but uh, considering right now until we get to that situation where we do need to worry about toughness i think i'm just gonna worry about speed and acceleration so uh skin is uh skin is car is speeds uh two stars as well as two acceleration stars um so if we just compare that to malibu Sta okay malibu stasis car is like way much better so i might just I might just stick to using Malibu Stasis car. I do like to, like, sometimes I do like to switch cars up a little bit just to make it more interesting, but I think I'm going to stick with Lisa's. It is it's way better um, for us to use at the moment. So, um, before we do continue on with the story missions, I, um, I am going to try out the street races this time. So, here is um, Nelson, considering he's literally just over here, and uh, yeah, let's go uh, try out the first street race. Hi, Nelson. This is a surprise. Oh, the pleasure is all mine. I'll be your starting man for this mission. Right, so race number two, circuit race. Complete all laps and finish a race in first place. Do not destroy your vehicle. Alright, so, um, got Marge's vehicle. Um, we're, we're racing against Marge, basically. Um, a little bit weird, because you've got, like, Selma and Patty over there. I don't know, it's, it's, it's slightly weird. Um, but then again, it's not the only weirdest thing in the game. So what was I going to say? Oh yeah, so, um, this shouldn't be... Oh god, Marge's car is going right ahead. Yeah, I was going to say, this shouldn't be too hard, because we're actually faster than Marge's car. Like, any time I'm on, 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 anytime I'm on level 4, I always like to, um, switch to... Uh, oh, can we just, uh, excuse me, Marge, can I just get past? Nope, okay, but apparently not. Um, so yeah, so, I might actually reset this. Yeah, so, anytime I'm on, on level 4, I always use Lisa's vehicle, um, at first, just because it's, like, a little bit better than Marge's vehicle. Like, Marge's vehicle could be better, because it's a level 4 vehicle, but, like, it's a better in the sense of it, I think it has better, like, toughness, and I think, I think a lot of her missions deal with that sort of stuff. Um, but for the basic, like, going through Springfield, I always like to use Malibu, the Malibu Stacey car, unless I get to a situation where I would need to use a stronger vehicle. Um, also, I think it's the game's also helping us a little bit by making Marge struggle um, during this race. Um, so, yeah, so this race shouldn't be necessarily too hard compared to, um, um, compared to when... Oh, okay, I was going to try to cheat a little bit by doing that little... Um, can I... Can I do that? Oh no, it doesn't help. Alright, I was gonna try it. Like, this this this, mission, this race shouldn't be too hard compared to, um, level 1 and level 2, where we're racing our opponents that way, because they did have faster vehicles. But considering this is a race, and Marge's vehicle is only good at destroying other vehicles, it shouldn't be... It shouldn't be too difficult. So, luckily, the only car we actually have to worry about overtaking right now is just a... a random street car. Oh, okay. Can I, can I, can I overtake it? Uh, okay, this is going to be a slightly more harder than I think. I should be able to overtake it. It's just a street vehicle. It shouldn't, it's like, no, it's like no way um, faster or no way better than the one I'm using right now. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's just I seem to be struggling with this a little bit. Oh, Marge's car is actually going um, way ahead. All right, can I just quickly do this without... There we go. Um, five more laps. I swear, I don't know if it's just me or is, it, is this more laps than usual? Because it might be a shorter lap. I mean, it might be a shorter um, circuit. I think it's called. Do I, do I call? Do I use it in that con? I don't know. It's like a shorter, um, I suppose, race. If if it was. Oh no, Marge is. Ouch, Marge. That that completely destroyed me. Luckily, she crashed as well, so it wouldn't. It, it wouldn't. It doesn't. It didn't bother us too much. But that was. I don't know. Marge's AI is like a whole lot more funnier um, during this race. I don't know. I just. I just honestly like Marge in this race, just because of how she's just crashing into everything, um, crashing into other people. It's quite annoying, but. Yeah, look, look how mad Marge's car is. Like, I, I bet you, when we're at level 4, we're not going to be that mad. Oh, nope, okay, got to be very careful. Oh, oh, okay, oh, oh, there we go. I'm speechless, Lisa. That was better than you have any right to do. Race 1 out of 3, races complete. Congratulations. So we have two more races to go. There we go, Lisa does her little dance. Drive to Captain's Mount McClister. McCle I don't know, to be honest. Um, okay, why do we get into that vehicle? <laughs> Uh, let's go get our Malibu Stacey's vehicle again, and we're gonna go try and do the other two races by Millhouse, yeah, Millhouse and uh, Ralph. And I remember where Millhouse is because he's literally right next to Gil. And then while we're checking out, um, w before we could go to Millhouse, we can obviously check out uh, what, what um, rides um, Gil's selling. But also, uh, I can't actually remember where Ralph is. I might actually do have to go on a little bit of a hunt for Ralph because I can't actually um, remember. And uh, a great tip, if um, for anyone who's thinking about speedrunning, I do know a quick speedrunning tip, because I do... I, I mean, I wouldn't say I watch speedrunners that often, but, like, I do... I, I have seen a few speedrunning videos, so I do know a, a, a couple of little tips then and there um, to actually do. But um, a quicker way to actually get to, um, um, for street races, to actually get to Millhouse and Ralph, 
is by selecting, if you've got a mission select, um, assuming you have done, because sometimes people wait until um, they've done mission 6 and then they wait until like mission 7 is the last one, that way they have access to kind of, um, they can pinpoint to all the uh, missions basically and then they can pinpoint to the one that's a little bit more closer to that person um, um, that's doing the race if that makes sense. So for example, say I have done, say I'm on mission 7, say I completed mission 6, I can always click on mission 6 just so I can get a little bit closer to Millhouse just to do his race. Um, but anyway, I, I, I've, um, oh no, I took the, oh no, I've got my hit and run meter up. Alright, let's quickly speak to Millhouse then. Millhouse, are you working here? That's not so bad. I get a green cookie on St. Patrick's Day. And it comes out of my paycheck. Right, so race number one, this is the race that probably we're supposed to start off with. Um, but we're doing it in like whatever character we find first. Uh, cross the finish line before time runs out. Don't destroy your vehicle. Should be simple. Um, I'm really bad at driving, like I said, I probably, <laughs> I, I, knowing me, I probably will crash into, also, why is Jim, all the other characters have cleared, but for some reason, Jimbo has decided to stay right in the middle of the, um, where I'm driving, which is really annoying, uh, but luckily, it does, it is also useful that they have taken away a bunch of characters, oh, they're up here, um, just because I'm really bad, like, oh, no, oh, can I, can, oh there we go, because, like, I'm really, I'm, I, I, I know I keep saying I'm really bad at driving, but here, it's here especially, just because it's, like, characters literally everywhere, and it's, like, so easy to get my hit and run meter up, so I'm always trying to avoid the character, I'm um, trying to avoid all the, um, pedestrians, and I keep always crashing into things, so it's, like, slightly annoying, um, when driving on this side, but, um, luckily that's all cleared, and we're, and, and the race is making it a whole lot easier for ourselves, although it is really hard to get up here, oh, nope, okay, let's, uh, um, if we press select, we should hopefully just, Oh, there we go. We spawn on there. Although that does, that is like, that I don't know. That's slightly take. Um, gonna take away some time just because we're gonna have to go all the way over here. Um, to complete the um, uh, to complete the lap. So there we go. Just start from all the way over here again. Uh, so 40 seconds. Can we do the last two? Um, the last two laps. Hopefully. Oh, or the last one even. Hopefully, if we can make it this time. Also, my car is horribly smoking right now. Um, okay. This is this is uh, a lot better than I expected. So let's go. Um, all the way up here again. Oh, too bad we can't. Too bad there's no spanners over there. That would just make it a whole lot easier for us. Like for some reason, the races do like to take away like spanners from us. Like I know realistically we could get that spanner, but it's obviously a waste of time because it's n it's literally right against. A b like it is going to be like waste of time if we if we try to get there and then yeah we've got like nine seconds left. So can we can we do this six seconds? Probably no me not. Oh three seconds three seconds. Oh one second no. Ooh, it was just right there. It was right there. Look between people and shortcuts. We could have made it. One second, which is literally right there. That's so annoying. Um, what was I gonna say? Um, yeah, if we if we could have made it, like right. Okay, okay, luckily our car is healed again. If we could have made it, like and not got stuck there, we honestly could have. We could we could have done that. We could we could have done that. We could have done like the last race for the day. But knowing me, I could get myself stuck. And uh, yeah, and, and make it so we have to do the race all over again. So um, hopefully this time we should do it a lot faster. Like I've got my I got my button. I mean I've got my button. I got my thumb down on the what's it button? The B button on the Xbox controller. And I'm just gonna hold it there and get myself stuck here again. Uh, but luckily I didn't fall down that time. I'm gonna hold it there until the race is done, just so I don't just just so I don't let go of it. Cause like I just. I don't know, that was so annoying, that was like one second, I was literally just right over there. So let's just hold it down, and hopefully, um, we could just, you know, hopefully win this race, and then we can move on to the last three. Oh, okay, I guess it's stuck. Yeah, it does, is it possible? Yeah, it's certainly possible to get that spanner over there, but obviously it's a bit, you, you're risking it slightly, just because, obviously, you can't really, um, you know, you, you, you have to, you, you have to get all the way back out again, and you have to go back up that, um, ramp, and you have to make sure, and it's like, for some reason, the ramp is a lot more tricky, um, then I'm, n n and then, um, then it makes it seem, to be honest. Um, that one I'm just really bad at going up ramps, but I'm, hi I'm holding my button down on the, um, I'm holding my thumb down on the B button so I don't do it. Oh no, don't do this again! Oh, okay, there we go. I was, I was so tempted to press select just so we teleported all the way down. Um, but this time I managed to get all the way back up. Uh, 20 seconds, last lap. Uh, hopefully we can do this. I'm hoping, I'm hoping anyway, 18 seconds. Okay, 16. Alright, if we just don't, if we're really careful and don't get ourselves stuck, we should be able to do this. 
11 seconds, 10 seconds, 9 seconds. Okay, 8 seconds. We're trying to get up that ramp. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. That's actually pretty cool. No, 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 Oh no, that's so annoying. I'm basically okay. What, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna speed up the video, um, just because obviously you're gonna have to watch me do all of that again. That's pretty annoying. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna speed up the video until I've got the, um, until I've basically just completed the race. Because to be fair, like you, you've seen me almost complete the race twice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna speed up the video. Hopefully this time I'm gonna knock over that lamp just so I don't crash into it again. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. So I'll see you guys in just a few seconds. Atta girl, Lisa. This will be noted on your permanent record. And there we go, race two out of three, a race is complete. Alright, so all you've got to do now is find Ralph, and then after we've done that, um, yeah, then we can call it a video. But very quickly, I do want to go grab some coins, because any time I do find these boxes, I do have to uh, very quickly smash them, because we are running out. And uh, like I promised, um, we are going to be checking out Gil's vehicles. So what we'll always be selling. So we've got the donut truck, which is 250 coins, and we've got the nerd car, which is 250 coins as well. So... I definitely do want to go for the nerd car because at some point, like any time, the, the nerd car was um, a very annoying vehicle to race that we had to race a few times. Um, so yeah, that's definitely a vehicle I might be picking up. But then again, it's probably not that good. It probably was just better than Comic Book Guy's vehicle. Um, so anyway, where is Ralph? We do probably have to go on a little bit of a hunt for Ralph just because he's probably like, I don't know, he's probably somewhere. I don't know. I'm trying to work out where Ralph would be. Um, I don't know, uh, where, where, if I was Ralph, where would I be? Um, I think, I think, I don't know, I might have to go on a hunt for Ralph, so, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go wander around Springfield, I know I've been speeding up, like I say, I know I've been speeding up a lot in these videos, but, um, yeah, I do wanna go definitely find Ralph, so, um, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna speed up the video until I've managed to successfully, and hopefully, have found Ralph, so I'll see you guys in a bit. So I've just found Ralph, so yeah, so last race, let's see what Ralph wants. Why are you working here? Daddy says I should stay here till I learn to control myself at the hardware store. Vroom, vroom! Right. I'll just stop right, so race number three, a checkpoint race, pass all checkpoints and cross the finish line first. Don't destroy your vehicle. Don't destroy your vehicle kind of goes without saying, but then again, my vehicle, oh no, my vehicle is completely wrecked. Um, well, should we just crash it quickly? I might just crash it quickly and then reset the meshing because, um, just because, like, I, I feel like it's too, it, it's basically going to be wasting time of us just going to be driving, like, basically just using, just going in a race with our, um, smoking vehicle. So there we go, I'll just retry the mission, hopefully, uh, my vehicle should be fully healed, fully fixed and everything. And, uh, yeah, and then we can just hopefully, um, do the mission or, or the race very um, very easily. So again, we've got the Marge's vehicle, um, Marge, as well as the two street races. I'm hoping Marge is going to be like how she was in the last race. Well, not the last race, but um, the the race where basically um, with Nelson, where she was like completely just crashed into everything, and like it, it was just very easy for us. And it just seems like it's going to be very easy for us again, just because of how um, just how fast we are going. Uh, so there we go. We are in first place now. Although we do need to be careful because I'm a bad driver and I'm crashed into lamppost and it gives no much it's giving marge a good time to crash nope okay marge is um marge is getting revenge oh no this is going to be probably a, a, a little bit difficult so um we have to just quickly overtake marge oh no it's like a proper race as well it's like there's no laps or anything it's like whoever gets to the other side i the other side of this map will win so 
Um, I do want to quickly do overtake Marge. Is this? Oh no, the shortcut is completely cut off, so we can't can't do the shortcut, um, which is really annoying because I thought we could probably overtake Marge. But like I said, Marge is pretty much of a bad driver in this game. Well, in in in, in this in this race, at least she's a bad driver. Or, or the last, you know, during these street races, she was a bad driver. So I'm hoping she'll she'll continue being a bad driver. She must get her driving ability from her mother's side. And there we go, all um, all races complete, congratulations, go to the phone booth and get the book burning van. Alright, that's a pretty cool vehicle, uh, maybe, I don't know. It's a bit of a weird vehicle, considering it's literally always on fire. Um, but yeah, let's go quickly check out the book burning vehicle, because I can imagine, I mean, if you haven't played the game, it's quite of a an interesting, I don't know, the, all, all the vehicles are interesting, like, I'm not much for car games, um, but I really love, like, the different cars, because it's all, I mean, obviously, because they're references to Simpsons and everything. Um, but yeah, let's go quickly check out the book burning vehicle, because it is quite an interesting vehicle. So, um, there it is. So, speed, is it better than Lisa's? I think I might just stick with Lisa's vehicle, to be honest. Where is Lisa? Yeah, I might just stick with the Lisa's vehicle. There wasn't really much, um, vehicle. Oh, no, it's not, it not, even if we did buy vehicles from Guild, there probably ain't that a lot better. The nerd car's probably just a little bit better at an acceleration, or probably the same, to be honest. See, we we'll probably will not really be switching out our vehicles. Um, Drew and Lisa's um, level, but there we go, book burning vehicle, on fire, constantly, um, drives fine though, I guess, but um, yeah, I'm probably going to stick with um, uh, Lisa's main vehicle, so, um, thank you guys very much for watching, I know I was trying to, uh, uh, my original plan was to complete Lisa's level in this video, but um, yeah, it looks like we're going to be doing that next level, as well as starting Marge's level, uh, so thank you guys very much for watching, I do appreciate everything who is watching, and I hope to see you all, all in my next video, thank you very much, and goodbye.